This is a lesson about uh, how to prepare your your um, your painting project. Um, it's just basic drawing. Um, depending on what you're going to draw, I decided to do daisies, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, some simple techniques that you can use. Um, Never you never press really hard on your drawings because it's gonna leave an impression on the paper and also leave uh, a indention after you start start painting on top of it. So don't press hard. It's a light, a rough image of what you want. That way you have a, a basic idea of of uh, the stroke and the depth and later we'll get into how you know we use where light comes from if it comes from the top uh, the right side the left side at a diagonal from the bottom um, all that we'll get into in another uh, video but for right now I just want to show you some basics about before the prep work before you start painting um, Find an image, find something that you want to paint, a vase, a start pretty simple. Flowers, flowers you can't really mess up. I mean, you know, they're flowers. And so it's not a, we're not Van Gogh, we're not uh, Picasso, we're just starting. So let's just, you know, do as we will. So start by the circle in the center. I don't know if you could see that really well. Maybe I should go here instead. I'm going to I'm going to press hard right now so you could see clearly cuz it's my image is pretty bad but there now you could see. And right when you make a flower, right at that point when you start the center part, go ahead and and give it some some dimension. So go upwards cuz daisies have like a little button they're not uh it's not a a tunnel for the center of the flower it's it's a, like a little button like a little pom pom then you just go outwards 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 and do little spikes and from those spikes then you do a circle shape and now we're we're going to start from the original circle because we won't see where the beginning comes from behind the button. So we have to start from right with that original circle and do our petal. And do the next one. Like I said, don't, don't worry about perfection. There's just no such thing and, and we aren't perfect. So what we're going to do is not going to be perfect. So, but it'll be just as beautiful anyway so mind you that this petal is going to be in front of this petal so this one can go over that other one and then what you see in front will not overlap it could be an aster it doesn't have to be a daisy it could be whatever you want and this one we're going to see more or less at an angle, so it would be a little slimmer. And the same thing with the last, the one in the back. And this one, try to get it underneath because we know that this one is going to be before in our, our uh, line of vision. So then, here we go. We have our little flower. And now we start erasing the part of that circle back there. And it'll look more like a flower. And then you just make your line. Well, like I said, this I'm doing right now. I'm doing it very uh, as a dark image, so you can see clearly on the video. But when uh, when you do it on your canvas or on your paper, don't make it dark. Don't press. Don't do that because then you're going to regret. Um, after you're going to regret after you paint it you're going to see all those lines that you know that your stroke might not cover and 
it'll just be a really, it, it won't look that nice. So from under here, there's the flower on the top, and from underneath, we know that lightly we stroke to make the bottom part, and then we do the stem. And just practice, you know, just... There's no perfection, I told you, and believe it. Okay. Now say that I want the light to come from this area. Say I'm going to pretend like there's a little sun here and this is where the sun's shedding light. So it'll be shedding light everything this way. Okay? This is the direction of the light and how your image is going to um, stand out. So if light is here in this area, that means it's going to be darker here. So you start and you shade darker here. Okay? And same thing for the petals. It's going to be lighter here and a little darker on this side. And this petal is going to be dark here and light there because it has to go th over this and it's not going to do that. So light goes straight and it makes a straight line. So pretend there's a straight line and here will be light and here will be dark. Same thing for here. Here will be dark and here will be light. I hope you can see clearly the way it's, it's I'm showing it. And let's pretend that this petal is upwards and blocking the light of this one. So all this will be darker, but the light behind the petal, we'll be able to see it. So we'll see the veins of this petal extremely clearly because it's the light is behind it. Just like when you look at a, um, a leaf in up to the sun, you see all the, the, the veins of the, of the leaf. Okay, and that's pretty much the basics. And for a, a uh, like a, like a snake type of, uh, for the stem, mm, looks like a snake, but um, it'll be light on this side, dark on this side, light here, dark here. But because of the sun's going to be blocking from the flower all here, all this should be dark, darker, not black, but darker, okay? And the same thing here, the line would be much darker on this side and here, okay? And the same thing for each petal. You imagine where the light's hitting it. Light's hitting here, so oh, we're going to be darker on this side. Light's hitting here, darker here. But remember, it's underneath. It's underneath. We're not going to do that. We're going to go right to there. Here it's it's dark, but we see the underside. This right here is going to be darker right here. And like I said, I'm right now I'm pressing down so you could see clearly, so the image comes out clearly. But when you do this at home and you're doing it on, you know, on your your paper or you know, we cost a lot, so don't you know mess up. You know, use a, a and there's like I said, there was no mistakes. But practice on regular old, uh, you know, notebook paper, and then do the final. On, and here we go again. It's light here. Remember, this petal is standing straight up, so we're gonna have a shaded image right here. We're gonna have light there and light passing through here, but this side will be dark. This light, this dark. This light, this dark. This light, this dark. And here it's going to be pretty much dark here because it's downward and light there. Same thing here. Light there, oops, dark here in the back. And here we go. And that's the basics of of drawing 
and the paint strokes are exactly the same. You use your whatever color, you know, if it's a daisy, well then here's the yellows. And you make your yellow darker and deeper, darker and deeper with the black and play with it. You know, you don't want, you know, to put a big old gray spot right here. No, you, you want to get like small shades, you know, uh, a dab, a dab of, and on this side is more of a dab of, uh, of white, a dab of white with the color yellow and you get lighter and lighter until you do the line and to perfect that line after after you do the shading then you go in with a very thin thin brush as thin as you as you have here's my thin thin brush I don't know if you could see that but it's almost uh, it's almost uh, like seven little hairs and that's it you know it's very thin then you go ahead and use uh, um, the darkest color that you put on this side and then you go ahead and you make your line on the light side just to emphasize where that stops and where it starts and to go around all your petals and then you emphasize the dark part you continue with the darkest color with with the white petals then it's going to be just typical grays because it's white and gray so then you go ahead and use the grays a little bit darker here and it could be a gray blue you could do um, a blue a, a, a white with blue tones as the shades so you use a little bit more blue a little bit more blue and a little bit more black and just play play with it and you'll you'll be amazed at what you can achieve now daisies don't have what other flowers have other flowers have that center part right here that's super dark but daisies don't really have that they don't have that dark 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 here and here uh like a magenta or whatever you know but it's your daisy if you want to put red in the middle then you put red in the middle if you want to put blue green it's your flower you it's your imagination it could be a flower from another time and space so who cares you know just play play with your colors but that's pretty much the basic of uh of uh, starting your painting um and I'm going to show you right here, I put, I don't know if you can see that clear enough, but here's a daisy, here's a bud that hasn't opened, and here's a daisy on the side. You know, it, it just, it has its, its little, whoops, that was terrible. It has its, uh, its little button, and then the petals are kind of, you know, it's at the end of its days. So it's kind of like wilting. And if light comes from here, say this is the direction of light, then on this side, it'll be darker. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. Now for the big one, same thing. Same thing as our, our little daisy here. We'll do darker here. As we go towards the center and then oops light hits right here so we don't want that dark and then same thing as we do as the petals you know you practice and you know, like I said there's no perfection flowers are like the best thing to do because you can't really mess up and you have a lot of fun all right thank you until the next time